welcome to Wave TV. So today I'm going to talk about how to raise your frequency to find your true love. So this is very important to meet your true love. And those of you who are having a love problem, let's have a free diagnostic call and see what we can do about it. The link is in the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the bell button and the subscribe so you don't miss any episode. So raising your frequency, why it has anything to do with love. Okay, so when you think about yourself as a vibrational being, okay, we are all vibrational being. When you vibrate in a certain level, we are like a magnet. We attract a certain person according to how we are vibrating. So when you are vibrating, let's say in the uh, lower frequency level, for example, someone like a narcissist, okay? You won't be attracting someone who is a uh, high frequency, enlightened, loving, compassionate being. Some of you are will be saying that what about people who are empath and who wants to take care of others? Okay, so who wants to take care of others and love others, that's a great quality, but you need to love yourself first. You need to stand up with yourself, you need to draw boundaries, and you have to be independently strong enough to stand on your own, and that's when you can find your person who is same as you. In the case of empath, who is happened to be, you know, got into the relationship with the narcissist, for example, who is totally low vibrational frequency, vibrating that way, because the self-love part is not practicing within her or within him. So this is more like a codependency. I'm gonna give a lot more, 90% of the time, I'm the one who is loving this person and hoping you get the same percentage back from the narcissist, right? In the expense of the pain you've been experiencing. So the balance of this person, even though this person is compassionate and uh, empath empathic, this person is not empathic and compassionate to himself or herself. This is why attracting to no narcissists, right? So anyhow, we use narcissists as an example. So when you are vibrating in lower frequency, let's say, um, doesn't mean you have to be evil or someone who has a bad character is a lower frequency. What I mean is when you have the frequency of sadness, frequency of despair, frequency of disappointment, frequency of anger, frequency of jealousy, frequency of hate, frequency of extreme emotional pain, and feeling like you are not good enough, feeling like you don't deserve love, feeling like you have to settle yourself for this person because you don't think you're gonna find it better than this because you're not good enough. That sort of vibration, right? When you are vibrating in that level, you will attract someone who is looking to give you the lesson, either give you the lesson to realize you need to heal that part of yourself or give you the lesson to repeat the same patterns. This happens a lot because subconscious level, your subconscious mind and your inner child is having a job to, okay, I got to fix myself. How can you do that? Let's make myself experience 
this experience over and over. So when you experience more, maybe I can figure out how to kill myself this time. Okay, that is why one of the reason why people are keep having a repeating experience with, you know, different faces, but same experience in the relationship. Because you aren't getting rid of the root cause of why this is happening. And you're vibrating the same level to attract the same situation. So it is very important to raise vibration. So how can you raise your vibration? I can give you a couple of ways. One, meditate. Meditation is not everything, okay? Meditation doesn't solve everything. But meditation is like brushing teeth. You gotta do daily meditation to tune yourself into the more harmony, earth, and the love frequency. I meditate every day to keep my vibration stable. Number two, love yourself. It is very important to love yourself and compassionate to yourself because if you don't feel your cup full, how can you offer your cup to others, okay? You cannot keep letting others to hurt you to teach you the lesson to others. You're not Jesus. It's very important to show love and compassion for yourself so you can be your own to emanating this love frequency. So when you love yourself, you treat yourself in the, such a loving, compassionate manner, you will attract people who does the same to you and you will attract the, your partner who does the same thing. Because other people only see you as how you see yourself. Okay, and number three, if you are having a difficult time, you know, it's okay to ask for help, okay? To asking help is required, even to ask help for God or help from angels or help from Jesus or help from any other ascended masters or helping, getting help from the professionals. And unless you ask for help, we, you live in the free will universe. So people will, people are being respect your sovereignty. So they are not to step themselves into your issues to solve it for you. You need to ask for help. Otherwise, you know, people or beings will assume, okay, she or he can take care of by himself or by herself, okay? And it's very important to ask for help, okay? I even ask for help too, because we are not perfect. Every day we are growing and improving ourselves, but we are not perfect. So we live in the society, you know, we are creating the society to help one another. So this, con this idea is very important to practice as well. So if you guys are having love relationship problem and seeking for assistance, let's have a free diagnostic call and see what, see what we can do about it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I see you guys next time. Bye!